Hello everyone and welcome back to our class in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning in Finance. We've fitted a multi-layer perceptron to our data example of uh, digitized um, um, digits, um, handwritten digits that we wanted to digitize and to predict. And in this video we are going to have a look at a deep model or a deeper model after having seen how to deal with overfitting um, in our data. So we want to fit a deeper model and therefore we add two additional hidden layers uh, to our multi-layer perceptron. Actually before that it was only a single layer perceptron. Um, we now add two additional hidden layers um, and uh, we reduce the number of neurons by a factor of two in each consecutive layer. So it um, it gets more sparse as we move upwards to the um, outputs. And again, we apply a dropout with a dropout rate of 50% to each hidden layer uh, for regularization of our neural network. So we now have a truly multi-layer perceptron. It's model three. Again, it's fitted sequentially. Um, and as you can see, we have layer dense. We start with 256 neurons. The redo activation function, um, we use dropout, then we use 128, again dropout, 64, and finally we have our output um, layer uh, with 10 binary response variables, and then we use the activation function softmax. Um, this is the summary. Um, actually, with the um, multi layer perceptron, we now have 243,000 parameters. All of these are trainable. And um, as you can see, um, interestingly, in comparison to the um, single layer perceptron um, from before, um, the number of parameters doesn't increase that extremely uh, when adding uh, a second and a third hidden layer. Um, so we move from 204 to 243,000 parameters. We continue as before, we compile and fit the model again using cross entropy and accuracy, 50 epochs, batch size of 64, and we use 80% for training and 20% of our available data for validation. Um, we visualize the training process, and as we can see now, actually, um, the accuracy is quite high for both the training and the validation set. And actually, the loss is also rather low for both the training, not surprisingly, but also for the validation set. And if we compare this to the single layer perceptron, um, actually, I have to delete some of my drawings from the previous vid video. Um, and you can see now that, yes, um, even though we're using the same regularization, using two additional layers um, leads to um, a better performance. We now have um, a higher accuracy and um, comparable loss. So to evaluate the model, um, we use our test data, X test and Y test. And here we get an accuracy of 97 point, close to 97.7 percent for the deep model. Now, in the next video, we'll have a look at early stopping as the second way of regularizing a multi-layer perceptron.